We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show, where our one rule is when trouble comes a calling. Be sure to change your number. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving into our type Final 3 Evolved. It is from Granzella Incorporated and NIS America, releasing on April 25th and 28th, 2023, in North America, and then in Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Um, this is the PlayStation 5 version of the game, which is the only version of the game, and I did a little bit of research. This is essentially our type 2, sorry, our type Final 2, like all everything thrown into it, and additionally, our type Final 3 Evolved has extra missions that are stuff from, that have been like remastered and added from the past, along with some original designs. I think over 20 additional missions were added. And it's all brought to you onto the PlayStation 5. Again, that's the only version there is. That being said, I have not played a game like this in a very, 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 very long time. I'm not sure that I ever played the R-Type games at all. And on top of all of that, if that wasn't enough for you, I'm really bad at this. Like, really, 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 really bad at this. So I'm debating whether I want to give this a, like a first look video idea and then actually play and maybe get to the point where I'm competent so we can go through and progress as a Let's Play series or how it's going to work. Like veterans of the series, I apologize. This is going to be disastrous, but it should be funny. Grab your popcorn. It's going to be hilarious how many times I die in a row. I tried doing this uh, video last night and... Um, while I don't care that the gameplay, like my gameplay, like me playing, uh, was terrible, because it was, um, that's fine, but the video itself kind of lacked, it was like 3 a.m., I couldn't be loud, and I was, I was getting a little heat, a little hot under the collar, you know, and I, I wanted to, you know, be able to express myself a bit more. I just kind of got quiet and grumbly, so I threw the video out, I, I played a little bit, I'm still terrible at the game, it is a fun game. It's a side-scrolling shoot 'em up kind of bullet hell is or esque ish type thing, but yeah, I'm I'm real bad at it. But I saw that NIS America has been putting out these type of games for a while. I've seen uh, like four or five releases, I think, something along those lines over the years, and I never really decided to opt in and try any of those. So I finally said, you know what? Let's give it a shot. I, I played games like I'm, I'm a child of the '80s. I definitely played side scrolling, uh, side scroller shooty, you know, flying around games. Definitely did that. So um, if I ever had any skills at that, they're long rusted back in probably my, you know, prior to being a teenager or maybe just being a teenager. So I'm gonna plead old man, um, inexperience. I'm a noob. Uh, maybe old rusted skills. So, uh, yeah, this, this is going to go bad. I'm just, I'm warning you guys, but the game itself is fun. I do want to play it more. Uh, like I've, while frustrated, I have enjoyed my time playing it. I, I like the way there's like puzzles to certain areas that you get to that you have to kind of figure everything out. Like there's a lot that I like here, but I'm also terrible at the game. Just, just pointing this out. Terrible. But a big shout out and a thank you to NIS America for sending this my way they're a fantastic company to work with and i am very grateful for all they do all they do send my way um they're great I, I love them and i appreciate it so here we are showcasing one of their games that i'm not necessarily going to be very good at but we're going to showcase it and if it's up your alley go ahead and grab it guys and gals that's kind of the whole point of the channel right to showcase shine my little light on games and let people decide for themselves whether they want to do it and if i'm going to do a game and play all the way through I bring you along for the ride to share my experience. So, yeah. Anyhow, I, I played through a little bit, uh, and again, I'm absolutely awful at it. We're gonna try something I haven't done, and we're gonna try the the R Type Final Three Evolved missions. I was playing around with R Type Two or uh, Final Two, and anyhow, there, there's several different ships here that are available. There's the R Museum, which I haven't gone to. I can add a craft so let's try that i i have no idea uh entry uh yeah i've never been to the art museum so i don't know what this is there's a lot of little cool things here that we can get into and we can do i don't know what a lot of them are that's why like i said i want to do a first look video so you guys have an idea what the game's like i want to dive in i want to play the game a bit i want to get not horrible at the game 
and then I want to be able to come back through and maybe we can make a full series out of the thing. I, I think it's definitely worth doing that. If this is something that I can wrap my head and my skills around, this is one of the, the rare instances where I'm significantly worse than I feel like I should be at a game. I'm almost always above average at everything I play. Uh, sometimes I dare say I enter the realm of good. Uh, but then there's other games I'm just very few, but just very, very few games I'm just absolutely terrible at. And this is one of them. So it's a, it's a rare breed, but I'm, I'm throwing it up here anyway. See, I'm not going to hide from it. I'm, I'm, I'm warning you guys. Anyway, so veterans, I apologize or have a good laugh. Uh, any newcomers, uh, I challenge you, do better. See if you can beat me. See, I'm sure you can. But uh, like I said, fun game. All right, welcome to our museum. Player ships that you have developed will be exhibited here. The development of new ships can also be performed here. I have no idea what any of this means. All right, so apparently we have these several ships. What is this thing? I don't know. Uh, full map is this? On the side. Coming to uh, soon, uh, the R9A2, this is the R9A. And I have gathered a few materials. I can develop it. I don't know enough about the crafts to, to say whether or not this is a good thing. Then we can scroll down further. This is the R9B, while we currently have the R9D available. There, apparently there is no R9C. And uh, then off of the D, we have the D2 and the DH. Then we have the E and the F. And then the RX10. That sounds cool. Uh, clear the specified stage, stage 3.0. And then provide the uh, stuff. Okay, cool. So there's certain things that you need to do. There's things that you can immediately develop, which is cool. It looks like I can I can add a few things to the thing. Oh my goodness. Early warning systems. System. Functions as a patrol unit for outer bases on Pluto and elsewhere. Its primary purpose is data acquisition and is only lightly armed. Uh, entering service after the first Bido War, the data it gathered was of tremendous value in the second Bido War. Okay. And it looks like we kind of see things. I, I, I only sort of have a grasp of how everything works. Did it say I can register the aircraft? What does that mean? Oh, I can put it somewhere. Oh, okay. Let's put it there. Actually, can I can I re-register the aircraft? Hold on, I want, I want to put it somewhere else. Oh, I'd have to move. Nah, it's fine. Let's put it there. Um, anyway, so we're gonna we're just gonna craft a few things from my uh, very very failed attempts. Oh, wait, what is this? Enter the necessary password for craft development. That's interesting. Okay. That's cool, though. And then this one we can actually do. The reinforced atmospheric prototype. A stripped-down model designed for in-atmosphere use. A prototype with, uh, but with plenty of combat use. Influenced many later designs. Has the same wave cannon as the R9. And also boosts a diffusion wave cannon that can amplify and disperse energy by using a special catalyst. All right, sure. I'll throw that there, I guess. All right, so we, we did some of that cool stuff. Oh, you can switch to museum background music. That's neat. I said there's a lot of little cool things here, and I'm sure veterans of the series are like, oh, they have this, they have that. I have no idea what any of this stuff means. Let's try one of the new ships. This one's weird. It's got a weird disc on top. Let's give it a shot. Uh, like I said, we're going to try the R-Type Final 3 Evolved main course. I did do a bit of research. I, I think I, I might have said this already, uh, but just in case. I did a bit of research. This is supposed to be like everything included from R-Type Final 2. That's the main focus of this game. But it also has additional missions with the Final 3 Evolved main course, which are like twenty uh, over 20 missions that are from games past, and I think a few new ones added in. So... 
Uh, we're going to go there. Uh, there are a lot of options here. You have Practice Kids, Normal, Bido, and R-Typer for the various different difficulties. I've been trying that on Normal. This is one of the few times I'm wanting to opt for an easier option. Uh, there's also, if you hit L1, you can go into various different other things. I think I would like to turn this on. I'm not going to do it right now, but I would like to turn this on because I feel super weak when I die. You know what? I am going to turn it on. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not going to turn it on. Sorry. I know I'm going back and forth. Um, yeah, well, let's just, let's just get into it. I, I'm ready to go into normal and see what happens here. Oh, this is like the opening movie. Cool. This is when you launch the game, this plays. Hard type final three evolved. So uh, apologies again that I'm probably almost a hundred percent assured to be terrible at the game. But it should be a good laugh, and it should give you guys at least an understanding of what the game is like and let you see it. So we're going to treat this as more of a first look video. The R9E, the R-9E, the Midnight Eye. I'm sure there's a story that runs through the R-Type series. I don't know what that is. Apparently there were Vito Wars. Why are you fidgeting about? This is your first time taking off from here, isn't it? Why is there no voice? There should be voice. Now you are about to go into the start sequence. Use Route A this time. Be careful, it's close to Bido's location. That's weird. Good luck. Uh, I don't know why there's no voice here. There's definitely music and background stuff. I didn't adjust any of the sound settings. So it's not like I muted the voices or anything. Very weird. Alright, that looks cool. Alright, here I am. Let's get into it. Okay, that orb is uh, our orb. It's not shooting, though is very disturbing. Oh, it is shooting now. It was. Oh, it, it amplifies my shots, maybe? It, it's just it's just there. Okay, I don't, I don't know what that does for me in general, but that is a thing, I guess. I say, so far, nothing has shot at me, and then that thing shot at me. Yeah, I don't know why this is not doing anything, but... I will just take it onto the front of my thing. So we can kind of send the orb around to do various different things. Generally, every orb that I've had up to this point has actually fired and done something. This one is not. So I'm just kind of using it as, oh, as a, nope, as a, like a, a ball that I'm shooting that stuff. And these things are the upgrades. Okay, now it might be doing something. It is, it's doing something. I lived through that somehow. That was uh, very, very dicey, by the way. I was quite terrified that I was going to die. I was not sure what I was going to do. That stuff was raining down. I wasn't sure if I'd even be able to hit it or not. I have an extra little baby orb now. I don't know what that does. Oh, cool. Oh, no, it still does something. All right. We do have a supercharged... Uh, okay, this is just a tiny... I don't think I like that. We still have a like a supercharged beam we can do... Oh. Okay, sorry. It, it's, not, it's, it's not the same as what it normally is. And now that I have fallen, uh, we're back to the basic shot. So this is why maintaining the upgrades is pretty cool. Good, we're gonna be back with the thing that doesn't do anything. Sweet.
Ugh. Barely got out of the way in time. And normally it's like a, a channeled super beam. Oh my god. I saw it. I saw the little the little laser coming at me. The little, little laser ball. Alright. I have no idea what this is. Seems bad. I figured it was an eyeball. Don't, don't, stop, stop coming back to me. Stay over there on it. Uh... Eyes are closed. Is it gonna go underwater? Oh. Am I, am I doing it? Am I winning? I haven't won yet. Firing right into his eyeball over and over and over again. Okay. Well, that 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 went good. See that that was not terrible, other than the part where I died once or twice. <clears throat> this is a another game, by the way. That um, how to explain this? You are not guaranteed to finish or beat. Uh, most modern games at this point in time have infinite continues, a reload from a checkpoint. This has a checkpoint system, but you have a finite number of ships. After, I, think, I guess you lose three ships total, and you die in one hit, by the way. After you lose three ships total, you then fall back on credits. You do not have unlimited credits either. So this is definitely a game that you can fail, and when you fail, whenever you run out of credits and everything else, you start all the way back at the beginning. So this is conceptually an old school type difficult game as you do, you know, revert all the way back to no progress made. But there are upgrades, I think, and stuff that you can get. Um, I ended up with more credits my second time around. I don't know how or why. So there, there's something to it. You do something when you uh, play and fail. But... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure exactly what. So either way, we're going to do our best to try to get as far as we can on this set of lives. That is scary. Um, so far, this is my least favorite ship that I've tried, by the way. Just to, to clarify, I am not a fan of how this thing works at all. I think it's quite bad. It's different, for sure, than the others. So if you were, like, looking for, like, super different, then yeah, you got this made here. You can definitely crash into things, like the power-up uh, thing there that I crashed in into because I'm amazing and really good at this. Oh, cool. We're back at the start. Nice. With none of the power-ups. This is exactly what we were hoping for. Remember, our initial power-up is not a power-up. It's just an orb that follows us around. So, super good. Super compelling and rich. Uh, yeah, not a big fan of whatever this ship is. Um, Literally every other ship better than this one that I've that I've played so far. But I imagine, just like most games, there are going to be different uh, play styles and things that folks are going to like versus not like. Uh, something that I really have not played around with or adjusted or done anything with just yet. Uh, I'm going to try this. It did not work.
Uh, I, I know your orb can generally do damage. I'm going to switch ships. I, I, this is something we could do on a continue. I could have done it also before. I think. I think we can do it on a continue. Maybe we can't. Oh, yeah, no, we totally can. All right. Um, your orb does damage. Anyway, one of the things that we haven't done is there. if you use L2 and L1, you can change the speed at which your ship moves, but then you run the risk of not being able to move as precisely because you're going faster. So if your reaction time and your control of the ship is good, the faster you move, probably the better. But I'm leaving it basically on the default for the most part, unless I need a speed boost. And there's four different levels. There's level one where you're super slow. There's level two where you're the speed that you've seen me. Three is faster than four is the fastest. And you move a lot quicker. But again, you run the risk of crashing into things that you don't intend to. Because uh, you can crash into the ground, the terrain, the scenery, and so on and so forth. We'll try this ship. We haven't tried this one yet. That's one that we just crafted. These are the two that we crafted. We'll give it a shot. We'll see. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I can't believe I, I crashed into one of those. All right, there we go. That's more like it. Our little floaty orb immediately just doubles our shot power. As long as it's not attached to us. It does sometimes come back to us for reasons that I don't fully understand. I was focused on a thing in the back. I thought I was far enough forward to avoid getting shot, but not so far forward that I would get run into by the stupid ship that came out the bottom. So that's still on me. It's my fault, but frustrating nonetheless. Oh, I didn't see the other one spawn in. I just glanced back. I'm like, oh, we obliterated that really beam dead. Uh, see, so this is, like I said, guys and gals, I am not good at this. This is one of the few games I'm just, I'm, I don't say notoriously, because like I've, this is literally my first time showing it, but that I'm, I'm legitimately and admittedly not good at. One of the one of the few that I'm just not good at. Like, there's times where people are like, "Oh, you're the worst person to ever play any game ever." It's like, really? But no, like legit, I'm not good at this at all. <laughs> I'm really not good at this. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Uh -huh. Oh no. I'm like, just don't let it fire right now. And it did. Uh, I'm like, I'm in a spot I should maybe just try to avoid things. Alright, that's fine. That ship's a lot better. I'm okay with that. That feels more or less like the original RA. Uh, which is the first ship that I played. It's just like your default, I, I'm guessing, like your default ordinary ship. This is a weird, uh, like an interesting concept for a level. Just like a, a half-frozen derelict battleship that we're blowing up. But somehow they're able to reconstruct the things that we destroy, which is very weird and interesting and kind of annoying, to be honest. Okay, so we handled that, which is cool. I was worried there. I'm like, am I going to be able to blow that up or am I dead here?
Okay, we're feeling decent. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I guess that's good. We did well there, I think. What's happening now? Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there's oh, that's colorful. There's angry attack penguins coming after me. Did you guys see the angry attack penguins? What is that? Oh, that puts us back on the oh ricocheting laser beam. Okay. 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 Oh, it fires lasers. Cause yeah. Might as well do that. Ah, oh, I was almost clear of it. Wonder where we start. Remember, we were losing all of our upgrades at this point, so we've got no back attacks. Uh... Okay, we'll have a back attack now at least. Sort of. Okay. Now there's maybe something that can be done. I Now I don't know if like... Like there's like stronger versions if you do certain things. Oh, right. Shoots a laser. I, I remember that right as I was about to die and then it was too late. Oh, this game's tough. I can do that too, except my beam doesn't last as long as yours. Did I really go that high? I, I guess I did. I, I felt like I didn't, but okay. Sorry. See, we have so many credits. I'm I'm not gonna. Usually, you start with three. I don't know what I've done to increase it. I think this is just for me going and playing and beating a level or so, and then coming back. It's given me more credits, and I think there's probably like something that 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 happens with something that like there's a a reason for it. I just don't understand. Like, I haven't seen or read anything that told me that this is a thing that happens. It's just you know from experience. That this is exactly what has happened. Okay. What hit me? What hit me? What? Oh, I, uh, I was past all the things that were falling from the front, and I was ahead of all the things that were falling from the back. What hit me? Did, did something fly in? I wasn't looking at the front. Admittedly, I was not looking at the front because we were past that danger. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Why? Why did so? What, what hit me? Ah. Oh, it's not fair. I, I was so focused on not making the same mistakes that I've already made multiple times now. Uh, what 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 is this, what is this for? Wait, if we shoot the bubbles, they explode into a four-piece cross shot. 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's so difficult. Ooh, that's so difficult. Because there was definitely nothing other than the bubble in front of me there. So, okay, that means we've gotten literally incredibly lucky up to that point to have not been hit by any of that. I crashed into the thing. Alright guys, one more continue and then we're, we're breaking off the uh, the episode. I, I told you, this is going to be rough. I, I think the game is really fun. I, I like the, the ideas, the concepts behind it. The speed adjustment thing I think is really cool. I'm not able to control myself well enough even on 2, but look. See how much faster you can move on uh, 4? Oh, it didn't wear off this time. Okay. Well, that's a good start. It's a good start. It's what we needed. Really bolster our confidence here moving forward. So here, here's w level 1. There's your movement speed. Level 2, level 3... And then level four, you move way quicker. And most people are like, well, why wouldn't you just stay on level four? Because uh, you have to actually be able to pilot your ship. And I am bad, apparently, at doing some things. Thought I was high enough. Last time, I don't even think it beamed. Well, enjoy, I guess, guys and gals. Uh, the the slow uh, descent into insanity from me. Almost flew into it again. So I'm going to try something bold here, and possibly very stupid. And that is, uh, get ahead of the... Oh, I worked out pretty decently. I'm terrified of the, the penguin army that's floating by. Okay, well that worked. I really didn't think it would, but it did. Oh, okay, now what? Now what's happening? More of the penguins coming on through. Oh, goody. Uh... Okay. Oh, cool. If they freeze, they do, uh... They shatter in weird ways. Just, oh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to destroy the uh, things that are pooping out these babies. I don't know if that is the right play. Oh, oh god, what is that? this oh no i flew into oh i was doing so well all right all right we, we got we got one more this is clearly the boss and i feel like we we did okay there all right <laughs> last, last credit try oh we're gonna be so weak I, I i have to assume we hit a checkpoint and we're not back at the start of the okay we're not back at the front of the ship that to me is a a very massive win for us
Okay. How does, how does it break? Okay, it breaks like that. Uh, okay, so it's a it's a oh, it's a five star deal. Got it. We just stay there. That's pretty good. We go down here to trigger the the laser, and then I'm gonna crash into the front of the stupid. Th oh my god, I'm the worst. I'm so bad. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Like, that's just awful. I gotta even know if you could say there's any redeeming qualities to that. That was just really bad. Alright, we killed the front one. So far, par for the course, more or less. And I was so worried about it hitting the back one. I didn't look at the front one breaking. I thought I had positioned myself correctly. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this. I'm so sorry. I don't, I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm just really bad. Go down here. Oh, I, I hit that. That's not good. Okay. Feels like we're slowly destroying the uh the things up top. I did it! Or timeout? What, what, what does timeout mean? Okay. Okay, sorry. I know that got quiet and crazy, but we did it! We're heroes! I think we're gonna maybe stop here. I That's a good spot for our first look. Um, crazy game. Very, very difficult for me. Um, maybe you guys are, you know, veterans of the series. Maybe you guys are looking for you know the next side-scrolling shoot 'em up bullet dodging uh, chaos and craziness. It's here. Uh, a lot of fun. I, like I really like the game. I like the ideas, the concepts, the power-ups, the various different uh, shooting styles. I like that the ships change that. There's a lot here. 
I'm just very new. I'm just a little baby step to get my feet wet right now. Um, but we accomplished uh, surviving two levels. That's that feels that feels good to me. That feels like a solid start, and I'll let you guys see how good the game can be, how bad one can be at the game, and uh, what little little tastes of success look like. So each boss that I have fought up to this point have all had some sort of puzzle mechanic to it. You had to figure out the best way to approach it. Um, not necessarily in so much as like, a, well, this is going to work, this isn't going to work. It, it's more of a, you have to come up with like a tactic or strategy to beat it. What would uh, allow you to do the most damage while keeping yourself safe, when to attack, when not to attack. Just like any boss fight. But it, it feels, for me, it feels very different in this kind of a, you know, space where you're just side-scrolling and you have to move around on the screen. Your positioning is key and so on and so forth. As I said, very, very different experience for me. Um, enjoyed it though. Enjoyed it. So a big shout out and a thank you once again to NIS America for coming up with the code for this, allowing me to showcase the game despite my uh, limited uh, skill or ability in said game. I do plan to play more, get better, uh, advance the game a bit, maybe get some unlocks, find, you know, the ship or loadout or whatever, what works best for me. And then down the line, once I feel confident that I can actually make any progress in the game, uh, maybe we'll start up an actual series and we'll run through the, the entire thing. Either way, the game is called R-Type Final 3 Evolved. It is available only for the PlayStation 5, focused on all stuff R-Type Final 2, plus these additional missions, two of which you just saw right here, with the uh, R-Type Final 3 Evolved missions, which are sometimes stuff from uh, days past, redesigned, remastered into this, and I believe a few new missions as well. I think over 20 missions have been added into this on top of what our type our type final two actually already had in it so that all being said uh if you want more information about the game where to get the game information on developer publisher any of that stuff down below in the description of the video i'll have various links just like i always do thanks for stopping by the freak show i've been your host bumpy mcsquiggums we play we fight we conquer